All right, all right, all right. What is going on, you guys? It is Mira, it is Shira, it is Vera, it is Scorpion Red Tarot. And I'm in here for a special occasion. I just got a little wild hair up my backside to do a Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine reading um, for the month of April, just for the collective, just to see what's been going on for you guys. I don't want to limit it to... Um, the month of April whenever you guys are catching this I did I just did the divine feminine so this video is for the divine masculine yes 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 so um big shout out to all you guys want to give a shout out to all my OGs to all my newbies to all my babies for liking sharing subscribing clicking this video and supporting me if there's anyone who would like to book a personal private reading with me all you got to do is click the description box of this video or check out the about tab on my youtube page and um it'll give you the various ways to connect with me um the best way to connect with me for a reading is to send me a personal message on instagram through instagram messenger if you do not have instagram um, just shoot me an email at scorpionreds at gmail.com. If any of these videos resonate with you, you want to send some love and support to this page. Um, the various ways that you can send support to the page is also in the description and on the about tab on my YouTube page. All right. So, you know, as we always do, we always have to, you know, give give roses, give blessings, and um, give acknowledgement to our foundation, which is Father God, the Creator, the Universe, whatever it is you want to call Him, however it is that you connect with Him. So I'm going to do as I always do, just give a quick prayer and just give acknowledgement to Father God real quick before we get into any of the collective messages today for the Divine Masculine. So if you wouldn't mind, bow your heads with me. All right, Father God, we thank you so much for just bringing us here today for the divine masculine energy and um, just keeping us highly spirited and just covered in your blessings, Father God. We thank you for all of the blessings and the lessons that we received in the past, present, and even the blessings that we have yet to receive in the future, Father God. We just, we know it has our name on it. We thank you for just keeping the masculine energy strong, um, continuously, you know, going through their shadow and just, you know, recognizing certain things about their self, perfecting certain things about their self, just constantly in, you know, this environment where they're looking inwards and trying to make their self better, Father God. So um, just having a good balance of the, the, the day and the night the the dark and the light it takes a lot of courage to be able to look at yourself and you know tackle that battle with the man in the mirror you know because if you can't fix him you can't fix nobody nor can you fix anything going around you in your situation so like right now we're just stepping in this mode of empowerment of strength of just eagerness just waiting for the blessings of our future while we dedicate our time fixing and working on ourselves and making our environment as comfortable as we can with the ability that we have currently at this moment. We appreciate all of the elements and just, you know, all of the nurturing energy that you've been creating around the divine masculine energy. Father God, please give us the guidance that we need to receive today for the divine masculine to help them, you know, receive the strength and just be strong and just so their blessings can last long in the name of Jesus. Father God, please give us the guidance we need to receive today for the my uh, divine masculine. Amen, amen, and amen. All right, come on. All right. Let's get into this. So, we got general energy, finance, and career over on this end. And then we got love on this end. So, we're just going to go into this. And... <clears throat> I realized I think it's a lot easier if I just lay the cards out and just look at it all at one time instead of just going into going into uh, you know one card at a time. So let me just go ahead and just put everything on out. Alright. So give me one card for the divine masculine for the general energy. Thank you. What is this here? Oh, we got the vow. I like that. I definitely like that. Come on now, Divine Masculine. Let's see what we got here from the Success Oracles deck. I 
type of energy we got here coming from the success oracles give me one card for my divine masculine I love that. That vibe right there, that's dedication. And I love that. Um, I don't know if that's like a, um, it looks like a diamond right there. It definitely looks like a diamond. Ooh. This is a lot. I'm going to go ahead and take both of these cards. I am going to take both of these cards. You got Ingvard, Kramprod. I think he's the um, developer of Ikea. I don't know who this lady is. Cher Wang. I have no idea who she is. If y'all know who she is, put that information down in the comment section. Cher Wang. Ooh. Let me just read what her says real quick. It says, compete in the market, not the spotlight. Enough about me. Ha! Listen, tomorrow's breakthrough starts day to day. I know that's right. Compete in the market, not the spotlight. I get that. And then Mr. Cramprod said, a good business model requires self-assembly. Your customer is your co-worker. Privacy loves company. Okay, y'all got two cards. Oh, hold on. I'm sitting up here missing cards and things like that. So, just like, initially, what I'm getting here is like, taking that about a step forward, making yourself more present. I like with that ego there. You feel confident. You feel strong. I feel like you see a lot of things in your life picking up. I see those moons there. Those look like new moons, not full moons. So... You know, new moons is really where you open yourself up to God in the universe and you're letting them know on a philanthropic effort, like, I'm willing to just, like, naturally with my own resources, put my energy towards this. I'm willing to take a vow towards this, regardless if I have all of the resources or not. I'm going to, with, with, with what I can, dedicate myself to this and put my energy to this to make sure that everything comes together there's a new moon energy here it's like you have a totally different standard it's like your it's like your back is 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 uh straight with like very good posture i feel like you're delicately looking over all of your new opportunities and you're taking all of the life advances that it's offering you i feel like you're not missing a step you're definitely taking a vow to yourself. You're being courageous, uh, courageous, and I feel like you are opening the door for yourself towards new opportunities. You're trying to compete in the market, not for the spotlight. So it's like you're not you're not trying to be the most popular. It's like you want to be the most qualified. Give me one card, please. Give me one card. And it's like, I'm also getting like, you're looking for infrastructure where it's like everybody works together, like true partnership. It's like, you don't want to do everything on your own. The whole thing with Ikea is, you got the three of wands in the verse. The whole thing with Ikea is, is that someone is buying a product for you to, from, from you that they have to put together. They have to self-assemble this product that they're getting from you. So... You don't mind facing the challenge. You don't mind walking into other opportunities as long as each one teach one type of thing like that. Like, I'll bring you the product as long as you will be willing to put it together. Like, we got to work together. It has to be like a partnership. That's what I'm getting here with this vows, like this partnership. You guys are ready to create something. You guys are ready to make sure that you are putting forth the effort and you want that longevity um with this three of wands right here this three of wands is saying to me i feel like you've um i feel like you're tired of waiting there's a level of impatience um 
there and I feel like it's about finding the divine partnership not only in just love but in everything that you're creating because we haven't even got to the love part yet um it's like I'm not taking a step forward until I know exactly where I'm going I know that the right person is arriving to pick me up because even with the three of wands it's someone is waiting for an arrival for someone to gather them and for uh for someone to come and pick them up so they can go on a journey. It's like they're waiting on their transportation. You're waiting on your Uber or something. It's like your your Lyft, your Uber, whatever could be taking too long. And it's like I'm ready to get off towards my new life and start this new product. Uh, start this new project. Just start whatever this is that is destined for my life to be going. It's like I'm tired of waiting um, you may even pick up and want to go on foot. I definitely feel a level of impatience. Because um, it's like the car said it was going to be here 15 minutes ago. So I feel like you might cancel that reservation and look for a new partnership. Someone that's going to show up on time. Someone that's not going to have you waiting. Someone where there's not going to be this difficult experience and this anticipation to get something started it's like i'm tired of the anticipation i'm ready to go you know what i'm saying like if you're not going to meet me halfway then i'll find another way to start this with someone else and i don't think that this is something where you're willing to do something on your own it's like, I think, it's like you realize that i can't do this on my own i can give direction but i still need someone to drive the vehicle um I don't know. It's like you could be checking to make sure someone has the correct license, um, that they are demonstrating the correct energy. Because it's like if you're not, like you're not just jumping in any car, you're not just going to, you're not just jumping in any car and you're not just going to sit around and just wait. You know what I'm saying? So. Give me guidance in regards to career. You got the creativity, creative expression. Your soul longs to express itself creatively. And you see how that kind of came out in the reverse. So I feel at this point in time. Again, I definitely feel with this three of wands here in the reverse. It's something that. You're trying to start. You want to move forward. You don't want to stay stagnant where you're at anymore. Things are not growing. Things are not inspiring you. You don't feel like your current situation um, feeds your gift and your talent. You know, you, you feel like it may be sucking it away or like the well is dry, the well is empty there. There's no fresh water. There's no good food. There's no nature. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I need to change my environment. I need to change my setting. Um, I'm just not inspired here to create, to draw, to write, um, to like really establish roots here. That's kind of what I'm getting. Give me one more card here in regards to the um, life purpose and career, please. For my divine masculine. Give me one more card. One more card for my divine masculine. Life purpose and career. Ooh, that's a lot of cards. I'm going to take this one off the top. You got the builder. So. I definitely feel, like I said, new moon energy. New moon energy. Think about when you look at the calendar. The new moons are typically the black moons, full moons. And full moons is for you to release, to let go, to uh, come at peace with things. And for you to appreciate and show gratitude for what you currently have. New moons is opening up the doors and the windows and <laughs> accepting all the blessings and starting new projects, building something. So you guys are at a point in your life where it's like grassroots, building blocks. You guys are trying to set your mark, your imprint somewhere. 
I just don't feel like it's where you're currently standing. It's like you're looking for something else. You're looking for you're looking for that spark. A good business model requires self-assembly. So if I can put myself together myself, if I can create this, if I'm built, if I have the integrity, the desire, the power, the want, the need, the hun the hunger, the leadership, wanting to see that success and victory, that warrior in me, if I can do it, you can do it too. So a good business model requires self-assembly. But your customer is also your co-worker. Privacy loves company. So, again, when I hear that privacy loves company type of things, it's like someone watching you doing something, something watching you build something, somebody watching you create some something, someone giving you that encouragement, someone trading secrets. How did you put your, your thing together that fast? Oh, I put these bolts with this one and this one and this one. You know, someone that is uh, willing to write down their directions on how they did it it's like sharing information like a true again like i said a partnership it's like i'm willing to do this but I, I want other people to watch me i want other people to learn me if they're buying something from me if they're doing something with me i want all of us to be able to develop a skill together compete in the market not for the spotlight enough about me so with that enough about me this person is taking a step back and letting go of maybe in the past there might have been a thing about a power struggle um, being all about them all about their needs a certain fixation on self so for this to say enough about me that says a lot where it's saying I'm looking up I'm looking at you know, diamonds represent commitment. I, to me, diamonds it represents purpose. Because remember, pressure pressure creates diamond. You know, diamonds are forever. Something that lasts eternity. It's something that shows appreciation. It's something that shows... Um, like the level of how someone feels about someone. You know, like when... You get your engagement ring or something like that. Like the bigger the, the diamond, it really shows how that person looks at you, how they feel about you. But at the same time with this saying, compete in the market, not the spotlight. I feel like this vow, this level of dedication, the worth, the energy that they put into this. They didn't make that diamond that big because they're trying to compete. They're trying to show off for other people. It's not about that. It's not about no spotlight or anything like that. It's about the integrity of the dedication of you two working together to make this thing pop off and develop many moons. Many moons. Many phases of development. Many open doors of growth. Constantly soaring above the rest. Birds are messengers. Birds are messengers. I see you guys building something. Tomorrow's breakthrough starts day to day. Pay attention to the messengers. To the messenger. Yeah, pay attention to the messengers. Pay attention to the messengers. Give me guidance for my divine masculine. Overall. General energy, finance and career. That's a lot. That is a lot. That is a whole lot. I don't know why my eyes just pointed to 
this number up here but you see how it says live I feel like right now it's the point in your life to buy masculine where you're finally really able to soar and live like whatever you've gone through you really experienced that healing I feel like right now for the first time in your life you really understand like your purpose you understand everything that you went through and, and, and you're able to live for like the first time really and that's why it's like this vow here is so important it's not even just a vow about somebody else like a partnership and career and finance and love or anything it's like your vow to yourself that you want better you know what I'm saying like it's like you feel stronger than you've ever felt in your fucking life and can't nobody tell you nothing nothing Nathan Nathaniel Nansford can't nobody tell you nothing your innate ability to build and create brings you a deep sense of accomplishment you want to put your hands into something that you can say I built that I did that I created that that's my stamp that's my logo that's my you know that's my partnership with my buddy over there like yeah we built this together like this this is something where day to day you're going to see the advancement all right give me one card please my divine masculine what is this you got the impediment card mm. what is this so this is the eight of diamonds here so the impediment card that means it's like some obstruction of justice <laughs> something like that it's something that it's like impede in the process um i believe the eight of diamonds is like um, oh, they're saying like your credit, your credit. Is it your credit, you guys? It's like your credit, your money, your wealth or something like that. It's like something is impeding the process. You guys need to have a, a nest egg, a savings or something that you don't touch. I feel like this is also... Because I feel like in a Divine Feminine, they were telling you to um, curtail your spending. Like to watch your spending. This is basically saying like as fast as the money has come in, it could go that fast. If you don't watch what you're doing. It's something that is impeding the process or something like... I want to say it could be your credit score. It may be something that you need to. It's something either about putting money in the bank and letting it stay there being non-touched. So it's like your assets is like so you can keep your assets and not continuously touching it. You know what I'm saying? Like it's impeding you to be able to move. Like, yeah, it's like you need that money there to handle and to resolve solutions later so you it's like you can't keep touching it you need to harness your power you need to stop involving other businesses with this business like you know what i'm saying don't it's like separate something don't touch this money anymore like because i just feel like quickly it'll just all dissolve if you don't watch where you're going um let me see exactly what the seven of diamonds means I mean, that's not the seven of diamonds, the eight of diamonds. Yeah, the eight of diamonds, it says caution, careful planning, balancing the books, financial restrictions, the need to curtail spending, ups and downs of money management, cycling money, tax planning, numbers counting, a person wearing glasses, watchfulness, the eyes. So, like, yeah. And then now that I'm looking at him, he does look like he might he's struggling to like read something or look at something. It was like he might he seemed confused about something. I feel like you guys may need to go to a different tax preparer 
or it's like you can because you see that number 13 over there in the corner you guys you see the number 13 that's the death card that represents like um ending something to like start a new process or something so i don't know if like you guys are about to start like some new process like some auditing or something i don't know if you need to do a quick audit of every single dollar that you spent this year on something I, it's like balancing the amount of money that you spent on something this year versus um what you're bringing in and it's like you need to look at it real good because i feel like it's like either you spent more money than you spent or like you're spending too much money on a service that you don't need do you understand because i've been doing my own taxes for years and i went to uh i don't want to say the name of the company but i went to this one tax preparer company and they charged me like 400 dollars, and they did not do a single solitary thing they did not give me an extra tax credit they did not do nothing outside of what i was already doing for myself and i had to give these motherfuckers damn near 500 dollars of my fucking tax money so you know what i'm saying it's like cutting out unnecessary shit like it's something that you could do on your own remember it's saying good model business uh model requires self-assembly requires self-assembly your customer is your co-worker it's like you gotta it's like you gotta learn how to put it together yourself you gotta learn how to put it. It's like, and again, it's like you gotta vow to learn how to stop depending on somebody else and learn how to do the shit yourself. Cause I feel like you're spending and it's like we're wasting unnecessary money. Let's go into love, fellas. That's what it, it's like, Uber. Cause look, cause. Like, remember what I'm saying? I'm, I'm like, he look confused. Like, he look unsure. So, where he going? But trust me, you're going to learn the direction on your own because I don't know if this is like you having to get your own transportation or something like that. Like, stop spending this unnecessary money on Uber. Could you imagine if every time you needed to travel somewhere, you're, do you know how much money you're wasting? You could have been bought a car. You know what I'm saying? Even if you don't trust your own ability to drive or something, like, you'll learn. Like, trust me. Like, please stop spending money on something. Okay. You got to stay optimistic about your love life. I like that. What else we got going on here in love for my divine masculine, please? And then you got it safe for you to love, but that came out in the reverse. So I feel like you put her. <laughs> Y'all remember that uh um what was his name? Emmanuel or something? It was like asking all the questions. Asking all the questions. Like, why you asking all these questions? <laughs> I feel like what it's saying right now is like you guys need to like kick it up in gear, like you need to get some type of understanding like the more and more you put doubt and think negatively on your love situation and you're questioning on if it's safe, if you'll really find someone that you'll have that connection with like that. Like we said, this is a new moon energy or at least this reading is giving me newness. You know what I'm saying? Um, and again, you ain't got to be all fancy, smancy, all that stuff like that. Remember, compete in the market not the spotlight like as long as you have marketable skills trust me the right person it don't matter if it's the em employer the right type of customers whatever it is that you're trying to draw to you it's going to come it's going to come to you naturally because that's what's fitting for you you know what i'm saying so don't get into the business of trying to compete for the spotlight compete in the market it's about being the most marketable representative of yourself. Not trying to compete with the spotlight with the people that... No, 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 no. And stop questioning. Listen, open up your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Once you open up your heart... And I love this picture. Can y'all just... 
Look at this picture. Once you open up your heart, it's like the floodlines is just going to just come on through. And just next thing you know, you're going to be looking for direction, confused. You decided to stop waiting and spending unnecessary time, money, energy, waiting for somebody. Look, if you would have never been looking lost in the sauce in your own... <laughs> On your own horse, trying to figure out how to drive or trying to figure out where you're going, you'd have never bumped into her. If you would have had someone else driving you. If you were sitting in a passenger seat or you were sitting in the back seat and ride, allowing someone to take you somewhere or waiting for someone to do something for you. It's like not only are you saving, but you're in the right place at the right time. You got to stay optimistic. You got to stay optimistic. And it is safe for you to love. You just got to trust yourself. And Three of Wands is all about leaving the past behind and moving. Like, Three of Wands is a card of movement. It's a card of relocation. Like, the Three of Wands in the reverse being in reverse is like saying, like, you're not sure if you should relocate or not. It's either you're not sure or you're waiting for someone to help you. And you don't, and I don't think that you need, I feel like you need to initiate the movement and the right people will come to you along the way. But first you got to make that vow to yourself that regardless if the initial person that I was waiting for, if they're showing me that they're not showing up on time, I'm not going to stop my investment. I'm not going to stop my advancement for nobody. I'm going to kick this shit off and get on my own. You got to stay optimistic. And it is the right time. Don't question it. You got the Queen of Swords. You got the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords is about, like, blunt truth. Uh... <laughs> Like, waking you up to reality, like smacking someone out of the fog a little bit. You know, it's like, if you want advice from me, I'm going to give you the advice that you need. Regardless if it's something that, regardless if it's something that you may feel that the way I might give the information is, hard, is harsh or off-putting because it's so sharp. But at the same time, I'm giving you the truth. And sometimes the truth needs to be blunt in order for people to really, like, heal from, you know what I'm saying? To understand what people are saying. If you think about it, whenever you're doing something bad or you're doing something that doesn't make sense or something that um, could get you in some trouble, and someone comes to you and be like, you know, you really shouldn't do that. I don't think that's a good idea. You probably be like, motherfucker, shut up and do what the fuck I want to do or whatever. But if someone comes over there to you, be like, um, now you know your ass going to jail, bitch. You stupid as shit. The fuck is wrong with you? Let me get the fuck from around you because you reckless. If someone puts you like that, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it didn't say, and then at first was like, oh, I think you shouldn't. You, you see how the person didn't respect what they were saying. It wasn't that the person was saying anything wrong. They were being too soft with it. The second person said, you're being reckless. I don't want to be around you. You're going to do something stupid. It's going to land you in jail. And I think low of you now. I don't even want to be around. Like, all of that. Sometimes people need to hear that. And it's like... This type of man here, this energy here, they don't need someone that's going to sit there and be like, well, Todd, are, are, are you coming in tonight or this isn't that? No, they need someone that's going to be like, listen, you have been hanging outside with your friends for the past couple of weeks. This ain't going to do shit and lead up to trouble. You know that the motherfuckers ain't trying to do a damn thing positive in their life and your ass finally got your shit together. You need to stop hanging out over there like that for you end up in some trouble and get wrapped up into some shit that you ain't even got nothing involved with. You know what I'm saying? Like, certain people need someone to just tell them the truth be honest with them like it's not about um because i don't think that the person is coming off just like naturally 
with uh saying things in, in a way where it's, it's hurting people or it's coming off you know too aggressively but certain people literally need that they need someone to reinforce direction that's going to like be blunt with them be honest like the reason why a lot of people are just running around this world right now just aimlessly and just confused and stuff because a lot of people lied to them about a whole bunch of things and instead of people being honest with them about shit so they can straighten their life out people want to tell motherfuckers what they want to hear and a real man they need a woman that be on her shit that's his backbone that is you know he's his protector but she protects him mentally make sure that he's always on point it's like that's what you need like this type of energy of the type of woman that this man needs right here is someone that will stand in front of him but like nah he's not about to do that he ain't going with y'all nowhere sorry nope absolutely not <gasps> Oh, you know what the fuck just popped in my fucking head? Do y'all remember um the Bronx Tales? Y'all remember the Bronx Tales? Remember when Sonny came and he was about to go in that car with his friends and stuff to go throw those um Molly cocktail, whatever the fuck them little uh uh bombs and shit over at the black people and stuff like that and then Sonny was like where are you going and he pulled his ass out of that motherfucking car Sonny ended up saving Kalojiro's life because all of his friends ended up dying in that fucking car you know what I'm saying so again this is like a woman like you're better than this get the fuck out of that car you don't need to be around these people you don't need to do this this isn't that this is someone cause clear like this is someone that's highly spiritual that is just like has that clairvoyancy like they can read energy they can read people they know they can sense danger they are a protector do you understand what i'm saying so it's like even shit that you don't see this woman is going to see and she will stand in front of you and be like nah get your ass out of that put like sunny pulled colodro out that motherfucking car i know y'all come on y'all put some stars down in the goddamn chat if y'all remember the bronx tales that is one of my most favorite fucking movies and that's why when people be trying to uh say all this is all this racism between blacks and, and Spanish, blacks and whites, blacks and Asians and stuff. It did start from that. But the truth is, there is, a, there is more love amongst the communities than there is hate. And that is one of the movies. I'm sorry I mean to go all on my soapbox on y'all. But I fucking love The Bronx Tales. I love that motherfucker movie. Shout out to all of motherfucker actors in that movie. I love that movie it didn't matter their differences like them two people them two loved each other and even though like Sonny was a fucked up street dude he was like a mobster like look Sonny was a fucking mobster you know what I'm saying but he seen something different in Kalodro like he he had no business hanging with those type of dudes like you're different I'm sorry, I went on a whole fuck of soap off. I really did. Okay. Do I want to take all of this? This is a lot. This is a lot. This is almost on the lines of, uh, I want to say this is damn near kind of like what they were saying on the uh, Divine Feminine thing. So you got the judgment in the reverse. The seven of swords in the reverse. You got the five of swords. And then you got the prince of swords in the reverse. Oh my gracious. So. This is like. This is okay. So this is. I, okay, I'm taking this. It's like. Y'all are calling out your enemy. It's like you're calling out your enemy. Um. In the, in the divine feminine energy, it was the judgment in the reverse too. But it was the seven of swords and the upright. And I was reading the five of swords and the seven of swords. But the prince of swords in, in the reverse, that's not a good card. Because the prince of swords in the reverse is...
this is this is a lot. This is a lot. I don't know, um, Divine Masculine, I don't know if this is something that you've been working on within yourself. I'm getting a lot of, um, verbally, mentally, and physically aggressive, abusive energy. I don't know if this is, because this is the Prince of Swords, so I want to say that this is something that, you could have been brought up in this abuse. You could have been brought up in this turmoil. You see how this... Okay, you see the Prince of Swords is in the reverse, right? I feel like this young man is trying to get control of his temper. Trying to get control of the verbal threats. Trying to get control of, like... Controlling the thoughts that are just formulated in the mind. I feel like this person could think negatively a lot around a certain certain shit like always think someone is out to get them or like um people are doing negative things to them. I want to say it has to do with this person's childhood. You see how it's this person down here with this three of swords and it's this person up there with the two of swords. I don't know if this person it's like right now, this person feels light years away from where they used to be. It's like in the past, this person could have been very verbally and physically aggressive and abusive in the past. Um, I'm kind of getting that this is this person's father. Um, I And I'm kind of getting, I want to say like this person didn't even know their father, but... It's like it's in them. It's in them. It's like you could have heard stories about how aggressive or abusive or... Um, and then I'm also kind of getting like someone in the street. Like because the Prince of Swords in the reverse, that can be like a, an enforcer. Like someone is like the, someone that likes danger. You know what I'm saying? Someone that likes a fight. Someone that could be like involved. I don't see the pinnacles out here, but could be involved in criminal activity or whatever they're doing could be like against the law so it's like you are not wanting to follow in your father's footsteps because you see down here from where this person came from it's like i seen the hurt i seen the uh imprisonment i seen the torture i seen the anguish i seen like because it could even been with this person's mother like how confused this woman was knowing that this person as it was like the excuse me it was like after the abuse that was the third party which made it a toxic negative situation it could have been other people like cheating like whatever the fuck it was that made the father from which this person came from. And like I said, it doesn't even necessarily... You can say, I don't know my father, but it can still be in you. It's still in your blood. And it's like, you're sitting up here now with a choice. It's like, do I want to continuously be like that? Or do I want to have the opportunity to show myself as something different? Because it's something about... I feel like... You guys are like light years apart from each other. And you could be looking down at this person. And, and it's like, yeah, you know, this is what I do down here. But what you do down here is three of swords. You hurt people. You abuse people. You know what I'm saying? It's like you torture people. You make people feel like they're insane. Like every time. It's like, I feel like I'm insane. You know what I'm saying? Because I come from you and, and, and I, I grew up watching you do this to, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever the fuck it is. It could even be other people that the mother or somebody bought in and out of this child's life that was abusive. Whatever it is, I want to say, it's not I want to say, I'm going to say that this person is trying to learn how to separate themselves from the abuse. Like, I can't do this no more. It's like, I don't want to be responsible for the suffering because with this Prince of Swords, like, this is a young person that is involved or uh, things are resulting in the same amount of suffering that the father did. So, I don't know 
if you live in a state where there's like a three strikes program, like if this has anything to do with the law and the justice system, it's like you could already have two strikes. If you get one more strike, you're going to be behind the bars with him as well. It's like you're it's like you're trying not to follow in your bloodline's footsteps but you don't know how to not do it because it's in you and i feel like it's a struggle but right there with the two of swords it's like i feel like you see you're not blinded anymore because you would be down there with the shits it would be the complete fucking five of swords and five of swords is someone violence action drama uh confusion manipulate i mean it is all the worst fucking things that you could possibly think of okay okay bitch i am reloaded so the seven of swords in the reverse right here next to the um the seven of swords in the justice in the reverse so i want to definitely say like i want to say someone is in fear of ending up in jail like forever i want to say something about a three strikes law bruh your father or whoever it is that raised you they already got their three strikes. You're working on two. The seven of swords is when someone is getting caught doing something wrong. Theft. Bur like theft, burglary, murder, conning, scan, uh, uh, conning, scamming, um, treason of all sorts. Do you understand? This is someone being caught. This is someone being alerted to someone's unlawful behavior. And this is someone that is not on the right side of the justice system. This has to do with someone's risky, volatile, abusive, and reckless behavior. And it's like you're not going to be given a second chance so it's like this person has a choice remember how i was saying like the impediment card and it's like watch watch what you're doing because everything that you built for yourself everything that you've created for yourself if you keep if you keep doing something you could risk losing everything and remember I said that number 13 right there. It's like something has to end. If you have been, again, trying to stay optimistic about your love life, it's just you don't feel like it's safe to love because I don't feel, it's like you don't feel safe to love because I, it's like you don't trust yourself. Um. You don't trust yourself that you've learned. You you don't trust yourself that you'll be able to like really show yourself that I won't do this again. That I'm not my father's spawn. Like I don't want to be like him. I don't want to do this. I don't want to get caught stealing, doing anything unlawful. It's like you're trying to separate yourself from danger. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because the, the, the five of swords is a lose-lose situation. If I, get this, if I get another strike, I'm gone forever. Forever. And... It's like someone at the risk of getting caught and getting put away. Um... This could be like a female judge or something like that because the Queen of Swords can very much so be a judge. But again, at the same time, I feel like either it's like you guys are looking for the type of woman that could pull you out of this lifestyle, this behavior. Be like, no, you're not getting in a car. Remember I was talking about Colodro. No, you're not getting in a car. No, you, no. This is, you're not, you're better than this. You don't need to hang with these people. You got two strikes. You can't, it's not worth it. It's like, I, it's like, I'm getting that you need someone that is going to help you see the truth. Like, beyond the truth. Because it's like, this person is like spiritually gifted. Just has a innate feeling. You know what I'm saying? An in, intuitive feeling. Don't go there. Caution. Don't go over there. Remember? This means caution.
Hmm. Let's see what we got here. My mask. On. I feel like you just, it's like you want to commit yourself to some, again, like I said, someone who is not going to bullshit you. It's like, I don't even give a fuck if you like what I got to say or not. I don't like your friends. Your friends is nothing but trouble. And if you keep going with them, your ass is going to fuck around and you're going to get caught and you're going to go to jail. And when your ass go to jail, please do not call me. Like this could be someone literally telling you this and it's because they love you. You're going to get caught and you're going to be the one that's going to go to jail. You. You. It's like this person needs that. It's like this person needs that guidance. They need the guidance. Do you understand? Like a good man needs a strong woman. Like, oh, geez, Josh. But I'm serious. It's like this, this, this man needs someone to help him stay out of trouble. And you're going to look up and find this person. Trust me. You're trying to get away. I swear, it's like you're trying to get away from danger, man. And it's like you're waiting on some Uber or some Lyft, some driver. Nah, bruh. You better get in your hoopty and motherfucking. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's like once you get away from whatever this is, like, listen, then Abundance Car came out. It's like you got to get away. You have to move, like. Your current environment is not, it's going to impede the process. It's going to cause trouble for you. It's going to put you in a space where you're fucking regretted. Do you understand what I'm saying, Divine Masculine? What are these cards saying? This is the casket. Outdated thinking. Listen, I'm trying to tell you, like, whatever the fuck this was, it's old, it's played out. I feel like... It's like you might be getting the same advice over and over and over and over again. It's like you know you need to leave. You know you need to update your equipment. And because even the Seven of Swords, that's even talking about outdated thinking. Like you need to upgrade your computer model, your security system or something. Or it's basically saying that someone is updating a like because i'm trying to tell you like if y'all are going to do any fucking thing that's wrong you're going to get caught you're going to get caught because the seven of swords is someone having a top of the line security system and, and the divine feminine energy i was warning somebody about a thief and i was telling her to upgrade her security system listen It says conditioning, replaying events over and over in your head. What is it saying? The healing heart. Healing from heartbreak. Freedom from a toxic relationship or an addiction. And that was in the reverse. So I'm going to put it to you like this. That abundance card is saying keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. If it's time for you to go, I just think it's time for you to go. You know what I'm saying? Like go and get some shit from Ikea. I was about to say something cheap from Ikea, bitch. Ikea is not cheap, okay? Let me be the one. But to me, Ikea ain't cheap shit. I don't know what the fuck y'all pockets look like. But I feel like the most important thing is it's just to get something to get a good start. Once you get there, we can put everything together. You know what I'm saying? We can put everything together yourself or somebody to help you. But the most important thing is to put yourself in the correct space. 
So this abundance can come to you. You have to keep a positive mindset. You cannot keep surrounding yourself around these type of individuals. Because I'm serious. Because like I know that's supposed to be love over there. But baby, I got to read it the way I got to read it. I don't know if this is you. I don't. Uh, I feel like this is something that you're struggling with. It's like you're trying not to be the same person and be tempted by the same shit. You know what I'm saying? Because the seven. Mm -mm. This is something. It's lack of judgment. It's lack of judgment. And again, when it comes to that abuse and all of that stuff like that, I feel like you're trying to get away from that. Again, outdated thinking. You know that that shit is old. You see what happened to your father. Your father is locked up. Like, it, it, would you want to be right there? Look, would you want to be in a cell in the same facility right with him but just on the floor up? Y'all can look down and talk to you. That, that's what y'all want? Like, I, I, you know what I'm saying? You gotta free yourself from this toxic situation. Don't keep telling yourself that you're like him. You're nothing like him. You're nothing like your friends. Like you're different. If you want better, you gotta do better. Pack up your shit or what you got and go. Stop impeding your process. Being around peace, people, persons, situations, and shit that is not worthy of you. If you want to change, you got to change your environment. You have to. Like, you have to. Ugh, I guess. Let me get one more over here. Give me guys one that is safe for you to love, please. And the Queen of Swords. That's too much. You got the love call. And because the love call came out in the first... And the It's Safe For You to Love came out in the reverse. I feel like you haven't been getting someone that is able to talk, that talk to you the way that you need it. It's like you need someone with the correct communication. You need a woman that's strong. You need someone that's loyal, that's independent. You know what I'm saying? That knows her own work. And she ain't going to take your bullshit. You, need, you know what I'm saying? You need someone that is not going to let you walk all over her. Because it's like, boy, it's ooh. It's like if you if if, if someone presents themselves that you can run game on them and and <laughs> you gonna do it, you gonna do it. This one not gonna back down. This one not gonna do it. This one not gonna be sending you no love and calls. Not gonna be doing all this shit if you're not presenting to her. What she feels that she deserves, she won't deal with you at all. At all. So, in regards to the love thing, I definitely see a queen of swords here with the sword. Um, she can feel like it's not safe for you to love right now. Like, you can have your own shit that you're dealing with. Um, you may be concerned with your abundance and still replaying and... and it's like she could see that you about to do the same shit all over again. It's like with this um, healing heart in the reverse. And it's saying freedom from a toxic relationship or addiction. You could be still addicted to the street life. You could still be addicted to abusive behavior. You could still be addicted and caught up in the same type of lifestyle that you grew up in your own home. And you're not trying to heal yourself and grow past that. You know what I'm saying? You may have like past life family his issues and like I'm serious and it's like she could very much so say I don't want to deal with that project so she may be rejecting your love calls because remember that this is safe for you to love this did come out in the reverse so I'm going to read it the way that I want to you know what I'm saying and this came out in the reverse expressing love a message of love thinking of you and letting you know like this person could very much so Cut you off until you can show yourself that, listen, you're healed. You're not bringing none of your family issues into play. And this is someone like, stop using that as an excuse for the reason of you being the way that you are. Being reckless, doing all this dumb shit. Stop it. Because when it comes to the court of law, motherfuckers don't want to hear that shit. You did wrong and you're going to get the judgment of the outcome based off your actions. Don't nobody want to hear that shit. I'm serious. 
You know what I'm saying? Either you gonna do this shit, either you gonna make this vow that you gonna change and you gonna stop. It's and they're saying stop with the abuse. It's like stop with the abuse to yourself because someone's reckless behavior and their activity and shit, you're hurting yourself and everybody around you. And if you wanna be like your father or whatever, then you know. Continue on that footsteps and you'll be right on the motherfucking path that you're looking for. And you will impede the process of every fucking thing that you've been working on. Don't do that. And like someone need to hear this. Because y'all know exactly what I'm saying. And you know who I'm talking about. And you know the people that I'm talking about. That are just like them badass boys that was in that motherfucking car. That ruined their fucking lives. And someone love you enough and say you're special. You're not like them. And grab your ass up out of that motherfucking car. But you want to keep going hanging around with your hood rat motherfucking friends. You know like that little boy. I want to do hood rat fr shit with my hood rat friends. Listen. You don't want them to give you the sword. You got the seven of pentacles. Ooh. And on this one she represents pregnancy. If, ooh, okay. Give me the hangman. Uh-huh. The eight of chalices and the king of swords, yeah. Okay. So, this is what I'm getting right here. I feel like I feel like here, there's definitely been an investment made, but at the same time, I don't feel like this woman over here is as hung up on this man as he thinks that she is. Like, she's more in love for herself. Like, she's more comfortable with focusing her energy on the fruits that's on her tree. I don't know. There could be someone that's either in the third or seventh tribe. I mean... In the third trimester. Yeah. Um, but this in the third trimester. Seven month of pregnancy or something like that. I think that's the third trimester. Yeah, anyway. Um, it's like this woman. How can I say this? Because you see that the, the man's pants is frozen and everything like that. Um. I feel like there's definitely no sex being had here. The hangman in the reverse is basically telling me like. She could have most definitely like. She could be frigid with you. Um, she could. I want to say that she could be done with you at this point. Um, if this is someone that's pregnant. She could just be okay with her pregnancy and the fruits that she's bared from this relationship. And she's good. I feel like she has enough money to take care of herself and the child. I don't feel that she's hung up on you as you think that she is. You know what I'm saying? Um, with the hangman in reverse, it's just like she doesn't have any faith. Um... This is someone that could have had like a lack of judge of character, but she sees the truth now. Like you said, the Queen of Swords, it's like she sees the truth now. She sees what fruit has been bared in this situation. You know what I'm saying? So it's like there's no need for her to keep going to see the light at the end of the trouble. I mean, uh, at the end, at the end of the trouble, at the end of the tunnel. You know what I'm saying? Like she's basically like um, my stop ends here. It's like I learned my lesson. Like they're saying, like she had to put she had to put him off to the side. And again, I think I was saying something about um. Was I saying something about erectile dysfunction in the other video? I want to say that I was, but with his pants being frozen like that, with his pants being frozen like that, I feel like. Either she's being frigid or like, 
I want to say it's cold because you know like when it's cold, will cold men's penis be limp or it can't get hard or something? Isn't is that the truth? I think that because I'm like when <laughs> I just I feel like it's like something would need to thaw out in order for something to be operational. It's just like it's frozen. It's frozen solid. It's just it's. Mm, like, it's like an icebox where my heart used to be. In regards to this person's personal life, I feel like things are flourishing. Things are better. Maybe since she stopped accepting these calls and she realized that it isn't safe to do this with this person. She's just watching the growth in her life. And I feel like she's... Like, things feel more better. She has to shut this person out. It's like someone had to get off of a roller coaster. And the only way for the person to thoroughly see the lesson that they were meant to get out of this is for them to separate themselves. To see what they were so hung up on. And it's like now that I can see from the outside looking in at my situation and looking at this person and the risk that this person takes. And not only that, it's like... The threats of violence or when this person gets angry, their temper and everything like that. Uh-uh. <laughs> uh-uh. It's like, I'll wait. I'll wait. I'm going to continue working on myself, taking care of my own garden, enjoying and basking the fruits of my own labor. Like, I, I'll wait. I don't need to invite that into my life. You know what I'm saying? You got the... Eight of chalices in the reverse. And then you got the king of swords. So again, like, this is definitely some energy of, it takes for someone to leave. And for this person to be left alone for them to finally get what they lost. That's kind of what I'm getting here. Um, I feel like whoever this person is, and I want to say like several times could have had like, an opportunity and I don't know if I'm telling you you gentlemen what happened in the past or if this is currently what is going on right now and it's like you're having to take a vow it's like you're having to take a vow for yourself pressure creates diamonds if it was not for this woman coming into your life and saying look I don't like this shit over here I don't like it. And you're going to get caught. And, when, and I don't want nothing to do with you. I don't want nothing to do with that shit, bruh. I'm not even accepting your calls anymore. I, I, I'm, I have a better judge of character. This person sees something wrong with you. And again, I don't like his energy, bruh. I do not like this energy. It's like it's something dangerous about this this person and it's like that's why you alone and like that's why you haven't been able to like hold on to a relationship you know what I'm saying it's like with this it's like okay so this is the eight of the eight of uh chalices in the upright so as you can see this is someone walking away leaving with just the shirt on their back and somebody else wanting an explanation but it's not being given to them i'm leaving without an explanation i don't care i'm over it you know what i'm saying so like to me this is someone that is like not over it and it's like this person and i'm sorry could have become even more abusive and even more uh I don't want to say that, but that's kind of what I'm getting. But at the same time, I'm looking at this book in her hand. So I'm looking at them like they could have learned a, a, a lesson. And it's like they want this energy of they want some because you got the king of swords and the queen of swords. This person wants that soulmate energy. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I want the right person to come back to me. But I have to show them that I've learned. And again, it's something about 
you got to tame some level of aggressiveness. It's like, I don't know if like this person could just be outright mean at some times or um, think they so fucking smart or like, cause it's like, you think you smart, but she's smart too. But she got blood on her sword. So it's like, she'll show you that she'll cut your motherfucking ass off with no remorse, with n nothing, nothing, Nathan, Nathaniel, Nansford. She would give not a single solitary fuck about it. She would tell you how she feel about it. And look, you see them watchful eyes right there? She see you and all your motherfucking words. You can't hide. Listen. Damn near high priestess energy. She don't give a fuck. I ain't got no problem with being alone, bitch. You get me? You get me? So it's like, I feel like this person could have met his match or something like that. And like this woman left on and, and went on and left you alone. And was it, it stayed more in tune and focused on their own harvest. Like I'm more focused on me. That I'm focused on you if you don't want to be focused on the right things. I It's like. I don't know. Because with this it's like. I do feel like some level of anger. Like. I do feel like some level of anger. Because it's like someone left. Or love left my life. It, it, I, don't, I don't necessarily even think that. I don't necessarily think that this person wants a specific person to come back to them. It's just that love in general in their life has left them because of this person's past. And again, like I said, they're trying to separate themselves from their past. And it, they want this opportunity to come to them again. You see, he's sitting there with his book. And again... I do feel like he's frustrated and angry because I want to say that this person maybe spent two Christmases single or alone. I want to say that. I don't feel like this person wants to spend another Christmas alone without a counterpart, without a wife. I feel like the longer that this person is by themselves, the bitter that they're getting. And I just feel like you need to... Learn to temper that energy. You got to learn. Because it's like the way you come off to people. Uh, it tells a story about yourself. More than you realize that it does. You see that fire right here in the back. I need you to be more warm. I need you to be more warm. Not so frigid. Not You know what I'm saying. I need you to be a little bit more warming. More inviting. More gentle. More gentle. I know that you think that you know everything, but this person knows something too. You you have to learn how to exchange advice and take advice. You know what I'm saying? And again, put down the sword, that sharp edge. I like I just feel like I, I feel like both of you put the fucking sword down for a minute. Listen. Just listen. Cause even behind her. I'm getting like a lot of fire energy as well. Aren't y'all getting that? I'm getting a lot of fire and desire. Like these two people, I feel like carry the same energy. And that's why the shit ain't going to come together until it's time for it to come together. Because she ain't going to take your shit and he ain't going to take your shit. You understand what I'm saying? You both know what each other want and you honor each you honor yourself with the truth. You're not gonna lie to yourself and you ain't gonna lie to nobody else. So if you ain't willing to get yourself together so that you can attract a woman that's complimenting you, then you will meet the sword. And that's just bottom line. And you can't blame and be bitter with nobody but yourself until you're willing to make those changes. Because you wouldn't put up with the shit and she ain't going to put up with it. You feel me? So, I think I made this video long enough. This is the end. I hope that you guys liked this video. This was a very deep video. But again, pressure creates diamonds. And what is this? This is diamond energy. This is sword energy.
God ain't never said it was going to be easy, but he said it would be worth it. It's worth it. And if you want someone that understands you and knows how to deal with you and that compliments you and protects you, you have to compliment and protect yourself by doing the things that you need to do. All right? All right? Take that vow to yourself. I love you. Love yourself. Peace. Hit that like button.